When you log on to the Chromebook, you're automatically taken to your launchpad. On the launchpad, that's where you see all the apps that you use most often. What I want to do is I want to take some files that I have saved onto the Chromebook and I want to um, use them to print on a PC. So I'm going to do that using my OneDrive. So I'm going to click on OneDrive and when that opens up, I'm going to create a folder in my OneDrive for Pupil Work. So this folder is going to be uh, Learner's Work. So I'm just going to create that folder. When that uh, folder has been created, I'm going to open up. There it is. And what I want to do is I want to upload things into that folder. So I know I've got images on my Chromebook that I want to put into this folder. So down the bottom, you can see I've got this little files. So when I click on files, I'm going to go to camera because it was a picture that I took. And what I want to do is I want to click on that image, but I want to right click it so that I can rename it. So I'm going to rename it Pam's work. And I'm going to put the date in because it's always a good idea to date your pictures. So then I have got that uh, folder. Now I've got two ways of doing this from this folder. I can grab it and drag it till I see the little plus appearing. And you can see the dots. And I can pop that in there. And you can see it's uploading. And that's it done. Or the other option is to click on Upload, go to Files. And then you do the same thing. You navigate to the work and then this time, instead of dragging it, you simply click open. So that's going to say upload and then it's going to say, well, hold on, I haven't uploaded it because it's the same one. So you can, that's why it's so important to name it. So I'm just going to say replace um, because I know that's the one I want. And there we go. I've now got this um, image in my OneDrive, which means I can access that from anywhere. So let me just click on it. There's my image. Now that means that I can put that into another piece of work or I can print it off and stick it on perhaps a floor book or something like that. So that image is there. And all I need to do now is to log on to a PC, which is attached to the printer in my establishment. And from there, I would just print as normal. Hope that's useful.